So we recently covered the new mice by Steel Series, the Steel Series Prime Ergo Mice. Absolutely awesome ergonomic mice. If you're into that, go check out the review. Again, fantastic mice right here. We covered all three of them, but today we're gonna go on and cover the new headset by Steel Series, the Steel Series Artis Prime. Still to this day, I can't say it right. But anyways. Let's check out the headset. So as far as in your box, you're gonna get your headset, of course. You're gonna get your paperwork, warranty guide, who needs those, you plug it in and it works. You can get your splitter for PC if you wanna use the microphone. And then you're gonna get your 3.5. Now they are still using that Steel Series uh, connection right there, as you can see, that's gonna go in there, not 3.5 to 3.5, so, but at least it is detachable. And then you're gonna get your windscreen for your microphone. So you all know where we have to start right here, right? And that is gonna be with comfort. Like I always state, no matter how great of a deal it is or how awesome they sound, if they're not stinking cozy, you're just gonna take them right off, right? So again, comfort is number one. And when you look at this headset, well, they look just like every other Arctis headset, minus these ear cushions. As you can see, they are fully pleather, nice and plush and everything. And they are big, just like the other ones. Plenty of depth in there. Now inside, no cushion in case your ears hit the drivers right there. But again, about the same depth as, depth as the old cushions. Now again, very soft pleather, so I'm not sure how long they'll last. Will they start chipping and peeling over time? I'm not too sure right there. But again, your ears can get very hot as well, considering that they are pleather inside and outside. Now, luckily, our sponsor of this video is gonna come into play right here for us. And that is Wicked Cushions. Since these ear cushions are replaceable, you can replace them with some Wicked Cushions. As you see, they got the fully pleather with designs, the uh, velour right here, nice and soft, but recently they just came out with their cooling gel ones. And these are not just any regular old cooling gel ear pads. As you can see, you got that soft foam in there and then gel all along the outside, the inside and then the top of your ear as well. I mean, no joke, these things are 100% stinking cozy. As you can see that material right there, then again, you have the velour ones if that's what you're into and then the fully pleather, tons of different designs. And again, super duper easy to apply on a Steel Series headsets or heck any headset. I use these on my actual headphones. They go right into that notch right there. Bam, and the ear cushion is on, as you can see right there. Now we are talking stinking cozy right here. Make sure to go check out Wicked Cushions. Links right down in the description. Some of them available on Amazon, some of them on their website right there. And I believe I have a coupon code as well. I'll leave that right down in the description as well. But trust you me, for these Arctic headsets right here, especially the Prime or heck any gaming headset you're using or headphones, you, you got to check out these ear cushions. I know it's a sponsored plug, but me, myself, like this is a product I stand behind and I use it on all of my headphones and headsets. And again, these new gel ones, just like, wow, they're the only kind in the market. You gotta try them. As far as the ski band, exact same, minus it's just a little bit of Steel Series branding right there. Nice, and again, that adjustable headband, absolutely fantastic. You have the full swivel, little bit in, totally flat, and then again, your ear cups go in and out. Again, the same as we've seen, and just about all Arctis headsets. But the cool thing about the Prime right here, if you look close at this guy, right? The hinge right here is metal. The headband underneath here is actually metal. As you can see, we got metal, and then it goes into metal. Now this hinge here is plastic on this side, and then it goes into ear cups, which are plastic. Some people have said durability issues with these guys. I mean, they, are stinking solid. I've used Arctic's headsets, the, the uh, pros were my mains for like two years and they got a little loose right there but never broke on me at all. I think they're incredibly durable and again, these feel the exact same way. But the cool thing about these, as I just showed you the build of it right there, talking about this, kind of jumping ahead here, as a $99 headset, the build is the exact same as the Arctic's pros, the wired, or the wireless. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention is the little ear cups over here. You can take them off, paint them, buy replacements or whatever. Again, just like the Arctic's Pro. So that is really cool. Getting this build quality into a $100 headset like this, again, the same build quality of a $320 or $330 headset. Stinking awesome. I love the build. I love the comfort. 
not a big fan of the air cushions. Now, even with a great build of this headset with the metal hinges and the bracket up there and everything, the headband, they're only coming in at 12.2 ounces right here. So again, even with that great build and quality, they're not extremely heavy. And again, with that ski band kind of distributing that weight right there, super cozy on the head. Now, as far as features and functions, everything is over on the back left ear cup. All the way back here, as you see, you have your mic mute and mic active. Pops out a little bit and you got the little red line right there when it's muted. You have your volume wheel up and down and it stops fully maxed and all the way down. Now it's smooth rolling, no tactile bumps or no middle indicator at all. Again, it's a smooth roll right there. Nice rubber wheel, by the way. There's your port to uh, connect your 3.5. You still have your share port. Again, if a buddy's next to your son and they can hear what you're hearing throughout your game. And then your microphone on the front, which is the retractable and moldable kind there. So let's talk about the next juicy topic right here. And that is gonna be sound. And talking about the Arctis Primes using straight 3.5. They are gonna work on every device. Of course, if you got a 3.5 port, right? It's not going to work on my iPhone, you know what I mean? But as far as consoles, the Switch, PlayStation 5 or 4, the Xbox Series S, X, 1, all of them, right? It's going to work on that if you got a 3.5 port right there. But the cool thing about this headset is they're packing, again, like I was talking about the build, packing the same sound as the Arctic Pros, as far as, you know, the specs and everything in there. 40 millimeter drivers, the frequency range of 10 to 40,000. And a hundred dollar headset. You got the same drivers and specs in there as far as sound as the Arctic Pros, the wired or the wireless. Now we're gonna dive deeper into sound right here, but again, I just wanted to give you those specs right there. It's just like, wow, it sounds like we got the Arctic Pros right here for, you know, a hundred bucks? That, it's just it's just crazy, you know what I mean? So so let's touch on that sound. Again, I'm going 3.5 into every device I'm gonna talk about, whether it be PC, and I'm also gonna test them with an amp and stuff and use them on multiple devices there. So so let's go on and start. As far as gaming, a few games I like playing. On PC, I, I play some, dabble with some Fortnite, a lot of Call of Duty. Um, what's the other one I've been playing? Biomutant. That, that game's just got horrible sound, just in general. Not as far as the headphones, but just the game. The sound is like... They need to update that game. Anyway, that's besides the point. Not a game review, right? So talking about going over to Xbox and PlayStation, exact same, going 3.5 into the controller. I don't have 3D sound active. I don't have Dolby Atmos active. I'm talking straight up sound right here, going into controller. And I'm playing different games on there. PlayStation, I dabble with some Fortnite on there. Uh, Last of Us, I play on there. Coming over to the Xbox, a big one of mine has been Outriders. You all know that's a big game for me to test headphones on with so much going on in there. Outriders, also Fortnite on the Xbox as well. On the Switch, pretty much just whatever. I have active Fortnite, you know, whatever game I got going on, Mario, you know, stuff like that. So talking about the sound on those platforms and even on PC, you got the same sound across all of them. You really did crystal clear, detailed sound. Now these aren't packing a lot of bass at all. You have bass, but it's a kick, right? It hits and it's done. It's not rolling out, it's not rumbly, it's not full, it's not heavy. It hits and it's done, right? So let's talk Call of Duty. Awesome, right? Because your gun's firing. It's not like you don't get the grenade go off and then it rattles all the way around you. It goes off, bam, and it's done, which is nice. It's more natural if you catch, catch my drift right there. Same with the gunshot. They're hitting it and they're done. They're not going and radiating and echoing all over the place and shaking and all that, you know? You got that natural sound. Same as you got with like the Arctic's Pros. You know what I mean? Same with Fortnite. It was awesome because again, you got that. Whether it was the building or the gunfight or the environment going on and it took place right there and it stayed there. It was awesome. You know, talk about like with Rainbow Six, throwing up a wall, it goes up, it's done. You're not getting this radiation and all this muffled sound while that's going on. That's what you're hearing. And you can still get those footsteps around you or above you. That was cool. Now, I'm going to switch it up here. I'm going to go to Outriders. Again, like I said, this has been a big game that I love testing headsets on. It kind of more line in like that immersive, full of bass. You want to feel that monster hitting the ground. You want to hear that and feel that ability going off compared to different abilities along with that weapon. Unfortunately, with this headset, I didn't get that in Outriders, right? The beast hit, and I was like, what? What's what's going on? Like, I'm in my settings, so I'm like, okay, I'm missing something here, you know what I mean? Because, again, that bass didn't hit. 
I didn't get that immersive rumble, just full bass. It hit and it was done. In Outriders, I wanted something a little different, right? I wanted something a little more fuller, a little more rounded out. I didn't get that with this. Now, on the flip side of Outriders, like when some of the music was going, like at the end of the end of the uh, expedition or whatever it's called, I started hearing different things. I'm like, what the heck? They update this with a new track or something? Because again, you started hearing different things with the music, right? So that we can take that a different route as well, even with a, a story game. Sorry to go so long with the sound, but again, it's a real key point right here. Uh, talking about like Assassin's Creed, playing this on Xbox, that's also a great thing right there because you got that story, but you don't want it overdone because you want the dialogue and, and you want the weapons. There's nothing really crazy going on. Like Outriders is just full of everything, you know? So, and it was really cool with that. It really was. Again, true to life, natural sound. You know what I mean? So when we compile some of those games, again, it's like hit or miss right there. But when you think about how I'm explaining this, no, it's not an immersive, full of bass headset. It's more natural, detailed. Now, flipping it over to PC, talking is going 3.5 with the same stats as the Arctic Pros. What do the Arctic Pros use? Both of them. You got wireless with the amp and DAC where you can adjust your EQ. The wired ones, you got that amp and DAC right there going straight in wire going USB. So you got more power pushing those, right? Being able to take advantage of that frequency range right there and really pull different sounds out. So when I took these to my PC, plugged them into my amp DAC, which I got a review coming up this week on which one I'm testing, that really pulled this headset out to that next little bit I wanted, right? I was able to pull the bass out. I turned them into the Arctic Pros. I did, you know what I mean? That's what it, it did right there. It really pulled them out and pulled out that extra bass if that's what I wanted. I was able to really dabble with it. And it sounded, again, a spitting image like the Arctic Pros. Now, another side note, while I'm on PC, I tried editing a video with these. Cause again, I like dabbling with the game and headsets in multiple situations, platforms, games, videos, music, whatever. Talking about watching videos, just straight up YouTube video that I'm editing on Final Cut Pro on my Mac product. My voice sounded I don't want to say tinny because it wasn't like that bad. It was higher pitched, high pitched mixed with a little tinny. How would I really nail that down right there? And I thought it was just me. I thought I was like, okay, maybe I had my mic settings wrong in my video or something. Because in my videos, even like this, I don't tweak with my sound. I record it, I put it in the timeline and, and that's it. I don't adjust or tweak anything, you know? So anyways, then I got my Audio-Technica ATH M50X, which I always do my videos in. That's my main editing headset. <clears throat> and it just came back to life. I was like, okay, I didn't have anything wrong. So I was worried. I'm like, man, this whole video is going to sound weird. But again, it really worked out like that. So it was this headset. And I think that was just because again, with the drivers and the frequency range, these, these are the Steel Series headsets, like I've always stated even before, are really tuned more focused on the highs. Any of the Steel Series headsets, you know what I mean? They're all focused more on the highs, which is something I really love about them. They're not muddy. They're more of a headphone quality sound than a gaming headset, right? So you really get that as far as listening to videos. And that's kind of where I come to the conclusion of the sound on this headset. If you got an amp, wipe any of this clear. Because again, you're going to have a fantastic experience right here. Being able to dabble with it, crank up the bass a bit, you know, drop it a little bit if you want. And you really be able to dabble with that range and really pull it out. But as is 3.5... I really class this as a darn good, maybe the best, probably the best FPS headset out of the box, right? If you're using console, PC, whatever you're using, straight up like that. Because me, when I play FPS, Rainbow Six, Call of Duty, Fortnite, whatever, I base my gameplay off the high pitch sound, right? So I can hear something reloading, someone building, someone walking up, above, around, directional sound, you know what I mean? That's what I got with this. I could really pinpoint each different sound. If someone's brush, you know, going through the brush over here, the bushes or whatnot, someone walking over here, someone just reloading over there. You got all that detail with this. That's how I base my FPS gameplay. You know, and you really got that. And that's where I put this as the best FPS headset out of the box at a hundred bucks. Let me clear that up. This is the best headset for FPS. Let me say the best FPS headset at a hundred dollars out of the box right here. You really got that 
competitive edge with this headset. And again, plug it into AMP and pull it out even more. But out of the box, as an immersive story-driven focused headset, nah, I don't really, I wouldn't recommend it as that. I'd say, hey, make sure you have an AMP. Maybe you have Dolby Atmos installed. Take advantage of that. Dab with your EQ, pull out the bass a little more, and then you'll have it. But again, out the box experience, 100% FPS, meh so much on a story-based game. So now I wanna test the microphone on the SteelSeries Artist Prime headset. Now you all know on most of my videos, I like going through the microphone test with you guys. I simply plug it into OBS, don't adjust anything, and I listen back to it whenever I edit it and we talk about it in the comments. So I don't know if it's good or bad, right along with you guys until I watch it, right? But with this one, I saw some weird things coming up in my recording as far as window settings or in OBS. So I wanna bring you guys along with this test because it's a bit strange. So number one, let's take a look at the laptop here. Right now, I'm synced up through the laptop microphone right up here. You can see it moving over here. I get closer, snapping, and you see it actually start budging there, right? So we see we're getting some feedback on it. Now, I'm gonna take the microphone 3.5 again with laptop, you don't need a splitter, it goes right in there. Um, so anyways, we're gonna go into the laptop here, and now we are gonna select our external microphone, well, it did it itself right there. And you can see I'm talking right now and nothing's coming up on the microphone. Just so you know, the microphone one for the laptop is off, but we're actually through the headset. My mute button is active back here. So what I have to do to even make it pick up is take the microphone, start pounding on it here. And now you can see on the Windows setting, it's actually picking up some feedback, right? And I'm over here beating the mess out of this microphone. If I pull it here and talk, it's not picking anything up. I'm gonna pull it even closer. Now it's right almost into my mouth and we're getting a little bit of feedback here. So as we can see, it's not picking up much. So let's go on and close this out. Let's go on and get OBS up over here. Okay, so let's make sure we're getting a little bit of OBS uh, chatter right here, as you can see coming up on the headphones. Let me make this bigger so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, so as you see, we're picked up right here on the headset. Now I'm gonna click start recording right here with you guys. This is what the microphone sounds like about this distance from my mouth right here. So for the sake of argument, what I just did, I actually went to my PC, my main PC, plugged it in with the splitter, because I know someone in the comments would be like, ah, hey man, you gotta use a splitter on PC, you know what I mean? So just to squash into that, I plugged it in there, and I wanna give you guys a listen to that microphone right now. I'm just gonna play the audio, because again, it's on my PC, so I'm just gonna hang out with you guys for a second. All right, so just for the sake of testing, I have the headset plugged into my PC right now using the splitter just to see if we have any difference. And as you can see, it is just like I'm hollering into this microphone and it's right against my mouth and it's still picking up a little. Okay, now just for the sake of testing, I have the Arctic Prime plugged into my iMac 3.5 again and I have OBS cranked up. I'm hollering a little bit louder into this microphone. Um, it sounded a little bit better this way, but again, this is the microphone plugged into iMac. So hopefully that was enough time to play the audio clip I had over there on my PC and it's the exact same. And again, I had that microphone was like right here and I was talking loud, like probably about this loud i'm not too sure how loud it's coming up in there right now but i see my audio on my on my monitor moving like crazy you know so there's no denying it like this microphone stinks which is a real bummer because we were on a complete run right here all right so if i didn't lose you yet after that mic test let's go on and wrap up the steel series artist prime headset coming in at 100 bucks it's packing a lot right awesome build stinking cozy get some replacement ear cushions trust me not just sponsor plug just truly honest opinion right there get those replacement cushions you're going to be prime time as far as comfort and sound no denying it we all listen to it right there together the microphone is horrible you know what i mean me personally i use external microphones right uh, usb one elgato hyperx whatever one you want to use right there you know so I put it, it's really hard where to put it. Is it a complete package? No, it's not because that microphone is so bad. It's not. But again, is it worth a hundred bucks? I say, yeah, right? And someone's gonna say, this dude's just a Steel Series fanboy. And not at all. Because the two main things, for me at least, comfort and sound, it's nailing it right there. You know what I mean? Again, I don't use the microphone. Half the time when I game, I don't use a microphone anyways, but if I am, I'm using an external one. If a microphone is that important for you and you need it, no way, mark this off your list because the microphone's that bad, you know what I mean? But if you're into and you really want that sound and that comfort and you have your own microphone option, you got a complete win here. You got the Arctix Pros at a budget price of $100. If you have an amp, an external amp, then you're in an even better situation because you can just simply plug it into there. 
You know what I mean? You can probably use the Astro amp and stuff like that too. I haven't dabbled with those. Um, again, the one I used is gonna be in a review this coming week here. But again, that, that's the way I put it. It's like certain situations, FPS games. If you got an amp, if you like this kind of sound, you know what I mean? It's really packing all that to perfection. But no, it's not a complete package because of the uh, microphone. If you're looking for a really immersive story uh, based, uh, story game based headset, no, I wouldn't recommend this. So again, it's really hit or miss right there. I love what they're doing, giving that Arctic's Pro experience at that low $100 price tag. That's stinking awesome, I love it. But again, it's not a complete package. But I do like it at 100 bucks. Again, just kind of round it up right there. Everything the route that I recommended at with those situations, think about if that's your situation and you're gonna be very, very happy here. But don't think about it again as that complete package if that makes any sense. So that'll wrap up my review on the Arctic Prime. Hopefully it helped you out. I know I got long winded on some things. There's some really awesome topics with this headset here and some iffy topics, you know, it was a real fun product to review. I do like it at a hundred bucks. I do like it. I hope I helped you out if you're looking into a new headset or heck the Arctic Prime's right here. If you got any more questions, ask right down in the comments. But all in all, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.